morning friends happy to see you all uh, in this online uh, program on big excel and uh, other tools that can be used for analyzing the metric data metric studies has been the most sought after research area in library science since many years starting from libra metric the concept coined by uh, dr s ranganathan we have gone very deep into the focus of metric studies maybe bibliometric psychometrics infometrics uh, webometrics or altmetrics and many many such kinds of uh, metric studies are on the line but this session uh, we would like to introduce you to a software called bibexcel a free software which was developed by a great visionary called oli person and uh, this is a free software just go to google and uh, type bibexcel you'll get a single exe file and just click it the software will start working fine and this session we talk about uh, the bibexcel software and how you can analyze the data uh, what you have downloaded from different databases and uh, uh, this is the page of the entire software bibexcel you can see here I'll just bring it little uh, down for you to make it very clear and this is the these are the menus file edit doc file edit out files add data classify analyze uh, miscellaneous mapping help so these are the various uh, uh, menu items available uh, in bibexcel file and uh, here certain areas are there and this is a file area where you can select the file in which you drive in which folder uh, uh, which name your file is so that you can select the file that needs to be analyzed in bibexcel the first box and here the second box it tells you whenever you want to find out a frequency distribution of a particular variable then you can make use of this particular box left side second box middle box For the purpose of either creating a frequency distribution of a unit of study, or you can slice out the research output from a particular uh, uh, query. So you give a query, you get the answer. From the answer, you want to slice and you want to create a new file. So that kind of activities can be done using the middle box. And the left side bottommost part is very important part where. the tags the tags which are added to the bibliographical elements of various databases are to be entered here for the analysis fine this is a area where you have to key in which bibliographical field is to be analyzed whether you want to analyze author or year of publication or document type or funding agency or bob sense category so here you have to decide the field on which you want to conduct your metric study this box and if you come to the right side uh, portion here a small uh, first box is there where is given uh, from there's got few options and you can uh, decide when after deciding a particular field on which you want to conduct your bibliographic study you can decide what kind of field is that whether it is a, a full field or it is the field is separated by a comma or uh, some other whatever you want to have you can uh, choose here and uh, the box tells you when you give a query the box gives you a result how many units were analyzed how many documents were included how many were excluded such kind of information be available in this box and the box also be used for carrying out some calculations like hatch index to write the formula something like that and this side uh, type new file name here so whenever you want to analyze and uh, uh, add Certain bibliographical data files you can make use of this particular box. For example, you have downloaded data from the Bob Science. You got five different files. You want to merge all the five files into a single file, and you want to give a name for that particular file which includes all the five files. So here you can type the new name and you can see. And here the most important uh, uh, part of this uh, Excel output screen. Name does the list. Whatever command you give, you select the name of the file, you select the field, and you say whether it is a whole field or not. When you uh, click on executing a file, the result will be available in the list box. The list. 
So here, what can what you can do is you can uh, select the results, you can copy it, and you can paste in the Word form, or you can select few items, and again you can paste it again for some other analysis, and uh, many more things can be done in this list. Any result will have five hundred and one result output to be displayed in the list box. If you want entire key, we click on view whole file. The whole thing will be displayed. And there's a layout of uh, BigPixel software. Fine. And you know very well, uh, BigPixel supports uh, files taken away from web of science plain text, or web of science tab format, or RIS format, rich information system files. Or if you have downloaded uh, Scopus data in RIS format, then you can uh, use it in uh, Excel. If you're having a Medline format, you go to PubMed uh, and you download the uh, bibliographical details, you download, download the records in Medline format, you can put this up here. Or if you're having a common text uh, database, you can uh, analyze it. So these are the few options, the databases, which, whose data, which data can be analyzed using Excel. Fine. And let me begin with the uh, web of science. For example, what I have done is that, I just went to web of science, I typed for some keywords, I got some results. And you know, uh, web, of, web of science permits you to download 500 files at a time. So you can download the bibliographical details of 500 files at a time. So I have downloaded three files and the files are available in my system. Let me tell you, how you can bring a web of science text file which i have downloaded from the web of science database to webexcel and how to convert this text file into a format that can be understood that can be processed by webexcel right that's the first thing so before you start doing analysis you should make the data ready for the analysis by webexcel you should convert the TXT file, the uh, data what you have downloaded from, uh, from Web of Science, into a format that can be analyzed, that can be accessed, that can be discussed, that can be explored by Web of Science. Fine. So let me uh, uh, find out the files. Uh, let me go to uh, my uh, drive, let me go to C drive. In C drive, let me go to uh, users, users, desktop. In desktop, I got a folder called data for Bibexel analysis. Okay, I click data for Bibexel analysis and it has got uh, three folders PubMed data, Scopus data, and the Web of Science data. So let me select uh, Web of Science. And here you can see three files. Okay, uh, save Rex 3, 4, 5, three files are there. If you want to analyze one file, you can take one file, you can analyze. If you want to add all the three files into a single file, and you want to conduct a comprehensive analysis, that is also possible. Right. Let me tell you how you can prepare a text file to be ready for the analysis in WebExcel. For example, I want to analyze this particular file. Maybe uh, this file may have either 500 or less than 500 records of uh, the Web Science database. I have selected this particular file. Fine. And here, there's an option for viewing the file. Just click on view file and uh, uh, in the list box, uh, it will show you uh, what is the result. It says that Bibexcel cannot read the file because the file is uh, having some kind of carriage return enter problem. So you have to solve it first. How to do that? Go to edit doc file okay, and click on replace line feed with the carriage return. Okay, just click on that. And it says that the file will be converted into a file name with the .tx2 extension. Say OK. It is asking shall I keep downloaded version without CR? OK, no problem. Give no. Now the file is getting processed and you can see the result here. The file is changed into uh, txt2 dot tx2. Fine. Now the format is a little bit changed. So now this file should be converted into a format that can be accepted by web of science. How to do that? Please go to miscellaneous button. There, click convert to dialog format. There, you select convert from web of science plain text. So I'll repeat once again. I selected the uh, uh, TXT file. I went to edit doc file. 
I click on replay line free with carriage return. I got a file called uh, .ex2. Now I went to miscellaneous uh, menu item, convert to dialog format. I went to convert from web box science plain text. I just click it. Which day this procedure will convert? Okay, fine. Do you want to keep uh, DOI numbers at the end? Okay, no problem. So now this file is converted into a dot doc file, a yeah, format that can be accepted by WebExcel for its analysis. So now our file is ready for analysis, and this is how you can convert a plain, a raw Bob science text file into a doc file that can be used for analysis in WebExcel software. Fine. So this is a case when we have only one file. For example, you are having two files. Maybe here you can see the uh, box. Uh, save Rex uh, four, Save Rex five. Here two files are there. Maybe ten, maybe fifteen, maybe five. You have any number of records. Absolutely no problem. You can merge all the records. For example, you try for a keyword called uh, artificial intelligence. You got some uh, uh, seven thousand five hundred records. So obviously there are fifteen files. And you can have all the 15 files merged into a single file, a single .doc file, so that uh, the records can be analyzed at the stretch. Now, let me show you how you can combine more than one file. I have got three files, or ten files, or fifteen files. No problem. You can merge all the files into a single file. How to do that? First, you select the records. See, I select uh, uh, save rex four and. Uh, Save Rex file. I uh, click the two files now. Now I want to add the files into a different file name. So here, come to this particular box, type new file name. There, just click it, single click, and double click. If you do a double left click, two left clicks, you will get a path. It asks by combining these two files, what should be the name of the new file in which the contents of these two files should be exported. So let me tell you, see users, desktop, data, fine. Views, uh, text data here. I want to save it as um, training. So I want to save it as training dot. Fine. Now I just gave a new name so that the contents of these two files will be added to a new file by name training in this particular folder. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to select edit doc file. There I'll add uh, replace line free with the carriage return. Before doing that, let me uh, combine the files. To do so, I have selected two files. I set a new name. Just go to edit doc file. There, uh, something like, uh, I'm sorry, this come to file, I'm sorry, come to file. There, append all selected files to another. So you're going to add all the selected files to a particular file. So click on append all selected files to another. It says this procedure will convert all the selected files into a single file, which is the type in the type new file name here. Say OK. Let me see the result now. You can see here in the select file here box. A new document has come called training.txt. So this file has got the contents of these two files merged into a single file. Now, as usual, go to training.txt, go to edit doc file, replace line feed with the carriage return. Just click it. And uh, this will create a new file called uh, training.txt. A new file is created. And this file is a base for us. To convert into a web of science compatible dialog format, I go to uh, miscellaneous, convert to dialog format, and uh, click convert from web of science plain text. Just click it. Okay. Okay. Fine. Now you can see the training.tx2 is converted into training.doc. That means the doc file now it's ready for. With Excel analysis. Fine. And this is how you have to convert the web of science downloaded plain text into a format, into a 
dot doc file that can be understood by debug server. So now file is ready. We start doing the analysis. Fine. So before we start doing the analysis, let us have a look at the abbreviations which are given at the leftmost portion of the data what you have downloaded. See, we have collected only the bibliographical information and each bibliographical information is given a tag. A two letter uh, tag is given. This tag will tell you what kind of data the particular field has. Fine. So if you come to this word file, I got a word file here, you can see here, uh, what are the various uh, tags you can have in above science. I would like to tell you very, very prominent ones which we will be analyzing. AU stands for authors, SO for uh, publication name or journal name, TA for document title, LEA for language, DT for document type, and uh, the above science gives you two different kinds of keywords. One is the keywords given by the author called DE. Apart from that, Web of Science gives uh, its own keywords for the articles that are submitted by the researchers. That is ID. Then C1 field which has got address of all the authors. Then FU stands for funding agency. And uh, NR stands for cited references count. You know, at the end of every article, you find a lot of references. And this field will tell you how many cited references are there in a particular article. And TC stands for Web of Science Score Collection Time Cited Count, total citation for the Web of Science Score Collection. And Z9 is a field that tells you how many total citations the article has got, including Web of Science Score Collection, Biosis Citation, Chinese Citation, Data Citation, Russian Citation, and uh, Cyber Citation. So this is a total citation and this TC stands for Web of Science Score Collection Total Citations. Then U1 stands for the usage count last 180 days. That means uh, in the last 180 days, how many times a particular record was accessed, was downloaded, was saved by the user. That is a usage count. And U2 stands for usage count since 2013. If you're searching for a data on a particular uh, subject, like maybe like machine learning, you got some 500 records. And this U2 tells you how many times a particular record was accessed or saved or downloaded since 2013. The usage count. Then publisher detail, place of publication, very importantly, PY, year of publication, and PG, page count and the web of science category. So web of science categorizes all the articles into a well-defined set of categories. You can see web of science categories. Then you've got ESC, research areas, in which, in which research area your particular article belongs to, the so research areas. Then there is another tag called OA, open access indicator. It tells, this tells you whether a particular article is available in an open access platform or not. Is an expansion of the tags. So these are the tags used in the web of science. This way, each and every database will have a separate list of tags, a separate list of code words. So we should understand because only when you know the field names, you can make use of this field name like AU or ESO or LA or DT for analyzing the same in the of so let me come back to our uh, WebExcel screen. I think we'll be able to see the WebExcel screen. And uh, here in the list box, you can see PT, AU, AF, TI, SO. These are the tags I was showing in a uh, MS Word file. Based on these uh, field tag, we are going to analyze the data. Fine. And the data can be analyzed in many different ways in WebExcel. Uh, let me tell you one by one. First, uh, there is a concept called single field analysis or single tag analysis. That means we are going to say take only one tag for the time being and we will analyze that tag. Fine. That is single tag analysis. Fine. So let me start with the PD. PD stands for publication type. I go to uh, old tag option. I type uh, publication type. So once I have selected the field, that means 
I am going to analyze this particular uh, tag, particular field called uh, publication type. Okay, now tag is selected. What is second point? Please come to this particular portion. Select the field to be analyzed. Now I am going to decide that uh, the publication type data has got the uh, whole field in that. It will be only one answer. It will not have many items. Publication type can be either journal or serials or books or uh, conference papers. So this kind of uh, publication type size, so there will be only one publication type for a particular uh, research paper. So I have selected whole field intact and instead of uh, giving click on go, exit go, you have to click on PREP, prepare, okay, prepare button. I just click on uh, prep. You can see here uh, this procedure uh, 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 we're going to prepare a frequency count. I say okay. You can see the result here training.out output file. You can see first record, journal, second record, journal, third record, journal, fourth record, journal. This way it keeps on telling you up to 501. If you want to see the remaining things, click on view whole file and you can see the whole uh, file in blue. Uh, this, um, whatever records are there, for all the records you can see which publication type that particular record is. So now I have just listed uh, uh, record wise publication type. So this will not help you to analyze. I want to find out how many journals, how many serials, how many uh, book chapters are there. So you have to conduct a frequency. How to do that? Please come back to the left side. Frequency distribution, select type of unit. Now, I am going to select the whole string. That means the entire string should be taken into account. Start uh, descending. Okay. And click on start. And say OK. And you can see here the result is displayed in the screen. It says that there are 549 articles totally under study. And all are journal articles. Okay. This way, you can calculate the frequency for any field. Right. So, this is how we have to analyze a particular field. Let me go back to uh, our base document training.doc. I click it, I click on view file. One second, you get the same file. Now, the record is analyzed, one field is analyzed. Let me go to show you another example. LEA stands for language. So, let me analyze how many are English articles, how many are some other articles. Fine. So, I go to old tab. So what is first up? You need to select the tag or a field on which you want to conduct your studies. So I want to do an analysis on language LEA. Then you should decide whether it is a field that has got only one answer or many answers. This field will have only one answer. That means whether it will have English or French or Spanish, only one answer will be there. So I select whole field in that in, uh, intact. And then click on PREP. Just click on that. Say OK. It says that already one dot OU to find is that you want to replace. No, let us replace it. Please say OK. And the document is ready. So all the 549 records are analyzed. And first article is an English article. This is in English. Second article is in English. Third is in English. This way, it tells the information about all articles. Right. This says you record by analysis. I want to have frequency. How to calculate the frequency? Same procedure. Come to left side middle box. Hosting. Start descending. Stop. Say OK. You can see all the 549 articles are in English. Fine. It's a clear. And this is how you have only second unit. Let me go back to our base document. In the DOZ. V5. You get the 5. Now third one is DT. DT stands for document type. So I want to check out of 549 documents I have, how many are uh, articles, how many are reviews, how many are uh, something like that. So different, different document types are there. So I want to analyze the document types. I just go to uh, old tab, I type DT, that is document type. Then I let me go to the field to be analyzed. I collect the whole field in type because this field will have only one answer. A particular record can be either article, or a review paper, something like that. So I select full field intact, click on prep, say OK, say OK to all right. You can see now, first, uh, first record is an article, second record is an article, it says. Now let me calculate the frequency, go back to left side, same formality, click start, 
say okay you get so what what it says is that out of 5 49 papers i considered for analysis 5 39 are articles four are reviews two are editorial material and two are proceedings in the paper and the conferences one is a letter and one is a book review how can you copy this again select like this say copy say okay it is copy and it is available in the memory of the computer you can go to a ms word file or wherever you want your data and uh, just click uh, control v and you get the results fine otherwise what you can do is that now i just uh, selected it i give copy this copy you can go to ms excel so that what you can do is that you can answer like this and you can paste it once it is pasted you can do the remaining things like this. so normally it will be uh, in a uh, reverse order the sense uh, uh, this will be placed on the right hand side you cut it and uh, paste it you can give a heading this is a document uh, type and this is a, a frequency i can say it is a count if you want you can calculate the percentage and if you want to add a serial number you can add a serial number fine and uh, and here you can have something called uh, total fine you can find the uh, total good and uh, i'm sure total has come here uh, 540 Right, and you can call it percentage. And you see, you can uh, select this file, and you can draw the box all border. You can copy it. You can take your Word file, and you can uh, paste it. Your uh, table is ready. You can say this is the document-wise analysis of maybe a uh, maybe a uh, something like I tried for machine learning search output. So table is ready. Fine. So either you can uh, uh, copy the output and paste the word file, or you can take it to Excel. I think it's better to take it to Excel where you can draw the box, you can count the percentages, and then you can take it to the place where you want to be pasted. Where you want things to be pasted. Is it fine? This is about the document type. So let me go back to my previous thing. Training dot doc uh, v file. The file has come. So so far we analyzed the publication type. we analyze the language we analyze the document type now let me come down to show you some more feats like nr nr means cited references how many references or appended are added to a file in your uh, research output so, so let me analyze uh, nr nr stands for number of references it will have only one answer 10 12 13 0 so i select whole field intact click on prep say okay say okay to overwrite and you can see here first record has got 49 references second record 41 references this way you can have a list for all to calculate the frequency come to hosting sort descending click on start say okay you will get the answer that means there are 19 records with 37 references 18 records with 24 references 18 records with 33 references this way the whole thing is arranged so what is the name of the file training.cit i will copy and paste in excel for further analysis or what you can do is that the name of please remember the name of the file is training.cit so let me go to ms excel fine i think you're clear go to file say open and uh, desktop let me go to uh, my for data for bubble analysis go to bob science kids data let me select all files here you can see there is a file by name training.cit you click training.cit say open you can see here the window has come it says that the file which you need to import to excel has got two items one is 1 to 3 4 and another is 19 30 11 you just you on next you say next you say finish you can see two lines okay the first line tells you how many records and second one tells you how many references so you can add uh, okay you say uh, okay and this can be you can uh, find out the total if you want 
and you can draw a table, you can add it to your uh, research box. Fine. I click uh, total. Totally, we have uh, 2713 references added to your records. Fine. If you come to this side, uh, A column, you can check it. Uh, can total it. It says uh, there are 548 records. 548 records are there. Um, that means I think we have actually 549 records, but it shows only 548. It means that one record, maybe a, it may be a letter or something like that, uh, which doesn't have a uh, cited reference. Right. And this is how you can have uh, uh, this is a number of. Uh, Records, 19 records have 37 references, 18 records have 24 references. This can be converted to a table using percentage and giving it Fine. And this way you can directly open the file. That means you do an analysis in web of science with the help of WebExcel software. WebExcel gives a result in the form of .out, .ext2, .cit. You can go to MS Excel and you can open this uh, doc file or OUT file. All the files can be opened in Excel. I opened the training.cit where I got the entire answer. I can do a list of things. So this is how you analyze the uh, number of references. And let me go back to my base document, training.doc, click on V file. And next to field, the what we be looking at uh, TC, total setting, same procedure. So, uh, type TC in the old tag, whole field intact because Thesis will have only one answer. This particular document has got five citation or ten citation or twenty citation. Only one with one answer will be there. So whole field intact. Prep. Okay. Okay. You can see here. First file uh, twelve citations. Second file nine citations. Third file five citations. So the frequency is available. To calculate the uh, overall frequency, click on the start button. Say okay. Why? Because already a file is opened in MS Excel, that's why uh, it was uh, closed. Let me open it once again, go to bibliometric software, I click my uh, software with Excel and I go to my uh, C drive, in the C drive I go to uh, users, users, desktop, then data for the Excel analysis, then uh, my file training.doc, v file. Now file has come. Uh, by the time, let me go to close these uh, files which I have created in uh, MX Excel. Uh, because when you have a file opened in MX, MS Excel, uh, it may not uh, permit you to undertake few operations. So, better you close the MS Excel file, then come back to your uh, original uh, file for analysis. Here, I click TC, total citations. I select the whole field intact. I say prepare. I say OK, OK. Then you can set the answer. First record got 12 citations, second record 9 citations. Let me go to the calculation of uh, frequency distribution. I say start, I say OK. You can see here. There are 44 records without any citation. There are 28 records with 3 citations, 20 records with 1 citation. So I got the answer. What is the name of the file? Training.cit. So let me go to MS Excel now. Let me go to uh, open. Let me go to my file desktop, uh, data, WOS, go and select all files, training.ca and say open. Say next, next, finish. You can see here the answer has come. Say insert and this is number of records and this is number of total citations. If you want, you can arrange this into uh, in the uh, increasing order. You can go here, filter, arrange from uh, smallest to largest. Say sort, and you can see here. Fine. 44 records are zero citations. 20 records one citation. 19 records two citations. This goes this way, and you can see here. There's only one record of the 252 total citations and two records of the 296 citations. Fine. If you feel that the table is very long, you can convert into ranges. When you are making a table, no, you need not make a, such a long table in your uh, research work. You can make a small table this way. For example, a range of citations. You can have your uh, uh, count. For example, 
zero citations, forty-four attacks. Then I'm sorry, uh, zero citations. Then one to ten. How many records have received one to ten citations? One to ten citations. You can see here. One to ten citations. You can see that uh, some one eighty one records. One eighty one records received one to ten citations. So eleven to twenty citations. You go to eleven here. So eleven to twenty. I get around one not three records. This way you can calculate the uh, uh, percentage for this, and you can make this as a table. Fine. That means the range of citations. Number of records, percentage. Instead of showing a lengthy record this way, we can make this table look very simple by preparing a range of citations. Fine. So this way you can analyze total citations. Let me come back to my original record, training dot doc. Click view file, go to file. Over the next field, you are going to analyze the same way. Is that nine? Is that nine? Is the Total citations received for all the databases like Chinese, uh, Turkish, Indians, all those things. Whole field. Prepare. Say okay. Say okay. You get the answer. So same way, you can take this file to MS Excel and you can do all the analysis. Let me come back to the base file. Then the DOC. I select B file. There are few more fields which can be analyzed the same way. U1 stands for I told you within last 180 days. How many times the particular record was downloaded or accessed? You can check. U2 stands for how many times the particular record was downloaded or accessed by the users since 2013. In analyze, for that you have to give uh, U2 whole field intact. You say prepare. Say okay, okay. First record 16 times accessed and downloaded. Second record, uh, it was downloaded 36 times since 2013. So this record can have. Then uh, what other fields can be analyzed? You can just have a look at here. F U stands for uh, funding agency. I'll come back to that later. Then publisher, P U publisher, P L place of publication. So I want to find out uh, who are the most uh, uh, productive publishers in my field. Select P U whole field. Like there will be only one publisher for a particular record. Prepare, say okay, and say oh. You'll get here. Okay, Wiley, how many? Wiley Blackwell, how many? First record was uh, published by Wiley B. Second record was published by Wiley Blackwell. So at least you can go here and find out the figures. Okay, why it says uh, runtime error? I have already opened some file in MS Excel. Let me close MS Excel file. Okay, one after closing MS Excel file, you can uh, uh, come back to your old file. Please understand. Whenever you uh, get an output and you take the output to MS Excel, Excel file, you need to close MS Excel file so that it can go and produce the next uh, output file. So be clear with that particular uh, concept. Otherwise, you will be ejected uh, from Excel like this. So let me come back to my file, uh, training dot uh, doc. Now I want to analyze, as I told you, uh, uh, publishers. So I select uh, PU. I select the whole field intact. I say prepare. I say okay. I say okay. Now answer has come. First record, second record, third record. I want to get the frequency, hosting, sort descending, click start. Say okay. Now you see 93 records are published by Elsevier Science, 76 by uh, Pergamon Elsevier, 35 by Springer. It is the most productive of issues. Let me go back to my base document, training dot doc. And what other fields can be analyzed this way? And you have uh, importantly PY publication year year wise analysis. I go to whole tag. I type PY whole field intact because this tag will have only one answer. Prepare. Okay. Okay. Yes, no problem. First record was published in 2014. Second was 2014, and this shows you all. How to get the frequency? Once again, come to left side. Hosting, start, descending, start. Okay, you'll get. It. Out of these five, 49 records, 103 records were published in 2011, 96 in 2012, 96 in 2019, or 2019 course. You can copy this. Copy. 
say okay, you can go to MS Excel, you can paste, you can get the percentage, you can uh, make a table ready. Fine. This you can find out uh, year wise analysis of your research output. Fine. Let me go to my uh, base file. Let me tell you what other analysis can be done uh, with this. And there is something called a PG, page number. Okay, go to old tab, type PG, whole field index, prepare, say OK, say OK, you'll get it. First record, nine pages, second record, 12 pages. I want to get a frequency, click start here, say OK, you'll get it. There are 74 documents with seven pages, 74 records with six pages. Once again, take the entire file to MS Excel, add percentage, your table is ready. So page number wise analysis. Then you go, go back to base document. Let me see what other analysis can be done. So we have seen publication here. We have seen page number, fine. And uh, anything else is there? Let me just check once and uh, maybe a journal name. In which journal, what, what are the most productive journals in my research area? You can see a source, yes, source. Source means publication name, title of a journal. So, Go to old tab, type TSO, whole field intact, prep, prepare, okay, and okay. You can see here, first article was published in materials and corrosion uh, journal. Second one was polymer international. Third one was electronic communication. Churches. How to get a frequency? Once again, go to left side, hosting, sort descending, start, okay. You can see 18 articles are published in this particular journal. 15 articles in this journal. So these first three of these articles, these journals are the most productive journals, which publish a good number of articles in your research paper. Fine. So let me go to my uh, training base file. And uh, these are the tags, which have only one item in it. So, so far we have analyzed the single tag analysis. And uh, dear friends, uh, uh, practice, these things just go download, uh, go to Google, download to Excel. I will give you these uh, uh, TXT files for your uh, practice. The next session, uh, next part of this particular session, I will take you to uh, another set of analysis that can be done with Excel. Thank you for your attention.